Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner G8. My name is Adam. I'm not a fan of long intro, so guys, quickly, let's jump into it. I want us to check out a video and then we'll come back and continue. Let's check it out. Finally, Ghana. Yansaka. Yansaka police approver. It will be a dress code, you know, a black. First day on the 14th of February 2024. A Wednesday and upon 9 a.m. Fire, 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 Hashtag fire, fire, fire. Save Ghana Football. Munina Mumra. Hashtag Save Ghana Football. Your football your blaster is a goo. Your football no a goo. Under 17, under 20, a goo. National teams no. Local football a goo. Anti blasters. Ghana for you now. Burma. Wednesday. 14 February, first day, no. Next day, or don't have So, guys, that was Country Manzongo inviting each and every one of us to be present tomorrow at the demonstration, which is themed Save Ghana Football. See, this demonstration is a very necessary one. You see, the way our football has really declined, we need this demonstration to create awareness that we need proper solution to our Ghana football. And Country Manzongo is inviting everyone. He's part of, you know, some of the journalists spearheading this demonstration. There is Sadiq Adams, there is Dan Kukuya, why the list goes on. So guys, you should be there. Now, I'm going to give you the reasons why this demonstration is very necessary. And I'm going to point out the reason why this demonstration, each and every Ghanaian needs to be there. One, I'm going to show you, this is called Exhibit A. Now, you can see a picture of a stadium on your screen. Now, this is Ayu Bahama Stadium formerly known as the Temali Sports Stadium. This was how it looked like in 2008 when Ghana hosted the Chan tournament. This was how it looked like though. Now, let's change the, the, the picture and go to Exhibit B. Exhibit B. This is how that stadium looks like now. In fact, yesterday, yesterday, FA Cup, FA Cup between Karela United and Asante Kotoko was played at this stadium. Look at the state of the stadium. Just compare the two pictures. Compare Exhibit A and Exhibit B. That is how far we have come. We have declined it. And this is the reason why we are waiting for that demonstration. Because, you see, it's not only about black stars. It's about the sporting fertility in this country. We don't have a good maintenance culture in this country. So anything that is done so nice, all of a sudden, after five, three, five years, or um, five, six years, it is in a deplorable state. It's so sad. This stadium, I mean... We left it, we just abandoned the stadium. Meanwhile, when shows are being played in this term and this sports stadium, the money goes straight to NSA account. Yes. So this is the reason why we are going to fight. Not only that, see, let's talk about this. Do you know why Ghana Premier League players are in a rush to leave Ghana here and go and play in other countries? In fact, some of them don't go too far. Some of them don't go too far. They go to Libya, Tanzania. Some even go to Pakistan, Uzbekistan. Iran, Iraq, some of these Ghana Premier League, these are the clubs they play. Now, one will be wondering why, ah, why would you leave Ghana to Uzbekistan? Now, say the same thing. And yet the same, oh, you see, in Ghana Premier League, if you listen or you hear the wages or the salaries of these Ghana Premier League players, you cry for them. You, if you NS, NSS personality more than Ghana Premier League players. Meanwhile, these Ghana Premier League players, some of them are breadwinners of their family. Some of them have family they have to take care of, and you're paying them what? They look below average. Why would they? Why would they go outside the country if they are being offered thousand, two thousand, or three thousand dollars? They'll take it. Yes, they they are going to take it because you see our Ghana Premier League has fallen off, and that is the reason why they are going for this demonstration. That is the reason why they are going for the demonstration. You see, Ghana Premier League winner. Do you know the amount of money the winner takes? Thirty thousand dollars. The winner of the Ghana Premier League takes thirty thousand dollars. And can you imagine the management committee members when they go for this tournament, World Cup, Afcon? Each each person takes like hundred thousand. That's one person for just like twelve days. Hundred thousand dollars. How do you expect Ghana football to go on? This is the reason why we are going to demonstrate. This is the reason why we are going to demonstrate. In fact, I came across a video of the NSA boss, Prof. Chumisi. He was under you no. Know, uh, uh, but the man's sports complex where the all African games are going to be hosted. And in fact, he looked excited. Yes, I mean, we all Ghanaians are excited because the facility looks very nice. But because we don't have a good maintenance culture, 
I mean, he, he was answered by a journalist that, ah, that the facility looks nice and everything. Do you think you can maintain it? He was like, yeah, I can maintain it. Budgets this, budgets that. He was speaking like a politician. This, this is clearly someone who does not understand the job. You are an NEC boss, National Sports Authority. You are supposed to make sure that all the stadiums in Ghana are properly maintained. This is a new, you know, built, new sports facility that has been built. And we are putting it in the hands of someone who was not even able to maintain that of the Detamali Sports Stadium. We are in a very sad state as a country. And this is why we are going to demonstrate. We want to save Ghana football. We want to save Ghana football. Now, why do we ask him, is that all? I want that. I have so many reasons why this demonstration is so important. Player development. Player development. It's always here in Ghana when the Black Stars are going to play. Then we start going around the whole world looking for Ghanaian players who, who, who are not even from Ghanaian descent. Just because someone has permission to their name and they are in Germany playing some lower division, we bring them to the Black Stars. Yes, we don't know how to invest in our own players and develop our own players. Look at South Africa. Look at the team they brought to the AFCON. Yeah, yeah, you, you get where I'm taking this whole argument to. Yes, look at South Africa. Look at the kind of players they brought. You could see there was team cohesion. There's, there's harmony within the team. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Currently, as I'm talking to you now, the Black Stars are sorting after Kobe Mill. Meanwhile, you didn't invest into the development of this player. No, you didn't. You didn't do it. Meanwhile, we have players in Ghana here who are equally talented. All they need is the opportunity to develop. When you're not doing that, you're not investing in them, no. You are waiting for someone somewhere to do it and then all of a sudden because he has a Ghanaian name they will go ration this is the reason why we are going to demonstrate this is the reason why every Ghanaian is supposed to be there tomorrow is Val's Day come and demonstrate after you go and enjoy Val's Day with your lover it is it is what it is as simple as that it is 9 a.m. or brass spot so guys please come in your numbers let's demonstrate the person code is simple black or red black or red we want to demonstrate and save Ghana football. It is very important because you see, there are a lot of reasons why we need to demonstrate. Some, someone will also be asking that, ah, if you demonstrate, what does it change? It changes a lot, Papa. Maybe directly it won't, but indirectly it would because then the whole media, like outside media, would even pick this because we are demonstrating. People will notice that this is what is happening in the country because. The media bust the GFA quite some like for some days. You have seen if you see on social media, you see them doing the right thing. So you need to be bust before you do the right thing. This is the reason why we want to demonstrate. So guys, same Ghana football demonstration is tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe to Sports Corner GA. Turn on notification because me myself by seven o'clock I will be there. I will be there live to bring you footage from Save Ghana football. Um, demonstrations. So guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notification, make sure to leave a comment and let me know if you will be there so that when I see you, I can holler at you. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie, we go vibe.